Hi everyone, it's Tammy, and I just opened this package, but I haven't opened opened it yet because I think that it is a cookbook that I purchased from Amazon, and I purchased it used, but um, I did a vlog and I said that I had purchased some books recently, and one of them was an Amish cookbook, and Christy acted, um, or asked if I would do a walkthrough of it and kind of show everyone, and yes, this is it. So hi Christy, thank you very much for your interest in this book. I actually came across it when I was looking for a bread recipe and I love homemade bread and I make it with my bread machine and I do a fairly decent job. It's not always wonderful. It's not always exactly what I expected, but it's usually 90% of the time edible and still good. But um, I'd really like to be able to make it like, you know, use, like if I went to the Amish market and they had pretzel bread that was to die for. And they had this cheese bread that was so amazing. And I thought, you know what? I need to learn how to cook like that. So I saw Sherry Gore. She came up when I was looking up, I think, Amish bread recipe or something like that. And um, it had mentioned that she had a cookbook. And I thought, what the heck? So then I went and I looked for the cookbook. And sure enough, they had it. So this is definitely a used book. Um... I don't remember how much I spent on it. I would say I probably spent $10 on it, which is probably more than I needed to, but $16.99 is what it comes to regularly. And this is a spiral bound soft book. But let's go ahead and do a walkthrough. Christy asked if I would do that, and I am happy to do that. I cannot judge the recipes yet, but um, when I use one, I'll try to remember to let you guys know. So here's the introduction, and it looks like they're playing ski ball or something whatever that's called um how i came to write this cookbook my daughter jacinda that's hilarious i have a cousin named jacinda and i never hear that name my name is tamitha so i never hear that name either so i'm not going to read all of these but it tells you a little about about amish and why she wrote this book here's the recipes look how cute that is they're playing in the water it looks like to me breads and rolls here we go honey wheat bread starting it off good and it looks like it's written by different people. So this might be like a combination of, oh, how fun. That makes it even maybe nicer because you're, you're going to give your best recipes to a cookbook, I would imagine. Um, so honey, wheat, bread, flour, sugar, honey, brown sugar, salt, boiling water, cold water, vegetable oil, yeast, whole wheat flour, and white flour. And um, it says preheat the oven. In a mixer, mix some stuff together, divide. Huh, there's like not a ton of rising time. Oh yes, put in a grease bread pans and let rise. So I don't know why you'd preheat your oven first, I don't know. And then bake for 28 minutes. So yeah, that looks really good. So I, um, I do read cookbooks like normally from front cover to cover. That's just how I read cookbooks, especially if I'm interested in them. So I will probably do that with this, but let's just go through and see some of the things. H homemade white bread, which is fabulous. Lemon poppy seed bread, pumpkin bread, banana sour cream bread, stuffed cheese buns. Oh, that reminds me of the Brazilian steakhouse. Oh yes, please, yes, please. Garlic lovers cheese bread. Monkey bread, my son loves monkey bread. Cornbread, gingerbread with old fashioned lemon sauce. I bet my daughter would love that. Butterhorns, hmm. pizza crust, whole wheat pizza dough. Looks like here's like a little, I don't know, the school teachers and students prepared for science and art night coming up on Friday. Held a pioneer day. I guess it's just some neat stuff that happened and um, this was written by Sherry in 2007 dinner rolls Dompf nep I don't know what that is quick and easy dessert that her grandmother used to make when she had the bread dough rising huh by Sam and Katie Yoder in Rose Hill Virginia so it says, preheat oven to 350, grease an iron skillet and cover the bottom with brown sugar. 
Shape dough into little buns and place on top of sugar. Let it rise for half an hour. Pour enough cream over the top to make a good sauce with the brown sugar. Bake until light and golden in color. Serve warm with milk. They can also be eaten cold. Wow, I don't know what that is, but that sounds fabulous. So it's like little creamy bread doughs with sugar. Oh, Glazed donuts, oh my goodness, with mashed potatoes in them. What? Cake donuts. Ever Ready Raisin Bran muffins. Morning Glory muffins. Cranberry Surprise muffins. Blueberry streusel muffins. Oh, Mile High Biscuits. Parmesan pan bread. Cinnamon rolls. Now I need to make these. I need to try them. I have not been very good at my cinnamon rolls. I need to find a good recipe that I can actually do. Cappuccino muffins. Lisa's brown bread. And then here is breakfast. Dippy eggs. That's hilarious. We were somewhere the other... It was the retreat I went to. And um, one of the other women called her eggs. She said she'd like dippy eggs. And that's so funny because we, my family calls them dippy eggs. And the person that she was talking to had no idea what she was talking about. But I knew what she meant. Granola. Baked oatmeal. Oh, my family loves baked oatmeal. Plump pumpkin pancakes. Stuffed raspberry French toast, gingerbread waffles. Oh, I'm getting excited. Breakfast casserole, coffee soup. Bishop Bill Yoder says an Amish cookbook isn't complete without a recipe for coffee soup. Two slices of bread, one cup hot coffee, a half a cup of half and half, one to two teaspoons of sugar. Break the bread into bite-sized pieces. Combine the coffee, half and half, and sugar. Place the bread cubes in the sugar bowl and pour the coffee mixture overall. Sprinkle extra sugar or cinnamon on top. How about that? I'm not sure I'd like that, but it sounds interesting. Florida avocado egg scramble. Cheesy egg puffs. Corn mush with tomato gravy. I love corn mush. Sun sunshine baked eggs. Katie Ann's breakfast gravy. Potato crawlers sausage gravy, farmer skillet, country caramel french toast, Dutch blueberry babies. Oh my goodness, these all sound so good. Here's appetizers and beverages, homemade barbecue sauce, baste for barbecuing chicken, fruit dipped, iced coffee, quick homemade root beer. How about that? Sugar, yeast, and root beer extract. I might have to try it just to try. How about that? Sarah Joy's Tea, Southern Breeze Punch, Slushy Punch, Berry Lemonade Slush, Hum Delicious Mocha Shake, Strawberry Mango Smoothie, Citrus Orange Delight, Energy Drink, Mocha, Cappuccino, and Party Mix, Spiced Peat Pretzels, Amish Peanut Butter, also called Church Spread, Brown sugar, marshmallow cream, boiling water, corn syrup, and peanut butter. That sounds delicious. Pimento cheese spread, Pennsylvania punch. Oh, here's some pictures. Fruit dip and southern breeze punch. Okay. Oh, stuffed raspberry French toast. Root beer float made with quick homemade root beer. Gingerbread waffles, orange marmalade, honey wheat bread, and Lisa's white bread, Amish church dinner, dippy eggs <laughs> with corn mush and tomato gravy, Amish peanut butter and strawberry jelly, oh my goodness, fried chicken, macaroni and cheese, and glazed carrots, seafood chowder, Cranberry salad, turkey stuffing, and Dutch dinner rolls. Amish bean soup. Hand breaded pork chops and creamy country gravy with red skin mashed potatoes. Turkey or chicken biscuit skillet. 
Oh, sounds so good. Soups and salad. Here's chili soup, corn chowder, cheesy turkey or chicken chowder, rival soup, cheeseburger soup, potato soup, vegetable soup, cheesy bean soup, cream of broccoli soup, tomato soup, taco soup, <laughs> chicken pot pie stew, wild rice and beef soup, Amish bean soup, that sounds good. Chicken corn noodle soup. That sounds good too. Homemade cream soup. And this says think thick. Cold soup. Colte soup. I don't I don't know that one. And it's fruit and bread and milk. Cranberry salad. Carrot and egg salad. Celery seed dressing. Poppy seed dressing. Pinecraft winter salad. Spinach salad. Marinated vegetable salad. Florida salad. Pineapple cheese salad, macaroni salad, potato salad, grape salad, crunchy salad, cabbage slaw, triple orange salad, <laughs> cauliflower pea salad, special occasion salad, apple salad, tomato salad, ginger ale salad. What the heck? I don't want to see the special occasion salad. Pineapple, grapes. Oh, it looks like a very fruity and sweet salad. The ginger ale salad has gelatin, water, sugar, lemon, ginger ale, peaches, pineapple, grapes. Interesting. Tropical chicken salad, buttermilk chive dressing, honey orange salad dressing, French dressing, sweet and sour dressing, hot bacon dressing for dandelion greens, sweet and sour dressing, creamy French dressing, fruity Florida coleslaw, fried zucchini patties, harvest crew potatoes, delicious onion pie, scalloped corn surprise, glazed carrots, cabbage casserole, cheesy corn, chuck wagon beans, Amish potato cakes, cheesy scalloped potatoes, healthy crunchy zucchini sticks, Brussels sprouts and onion cream, Raber's baked beans, slow cooked potatoes, red skin mashed potatoes, creamed peas, and Rebecca Fisher's sauerkraut. How about that? And then here's a story. It says, Oodles of Noodles, Thanksgiving Day. So that looks like it'll be fun to read. And here's homemade egg noodles. Sweet potato, or sweet potatoes, sweet mash. And then here are some main dishes and meats. Fried chicken. Gotta love me some fried chicken. Yoder's chicken, Yoder's restaurant chicken stuffing casserole. Creamy chicken gravy. Turkey or chicken biscuit skillet. Turkey stuffing. Stutzman's chili casserole, poppy seed chicken, macaroni and cheese, Amish church dinner, mock ham loaf, shepherd's pie, Anna's barbecue, hand breaded pork chops with creamy country gravy, <laughs> yes please, ham and cheese delight, Super Bowl stromboli, tater tot casserole, ham loaf, Christy I hope that you like this because I am loving it. Spaghetti sauce, Amish baked hamburgers, Rebecca's tangy meatballs, underground ham casserole, yumisetti, I'm not familiar with that at all. It's pork cubed, onion, vegetable oil, noodles, tomato soup, water, canned mushrooms, grated cheese, and butter breadcrumbs. Interesting. More vegetable and beef casserole, Levi's meatloaf. Spaghetti to feed a crowd, poor man's steak, scallop potatoes, Iowa ham, be ham balls, applesauce meatloaf, sweet and sour meatballs, hot ham and cheese sandwiches, hot chicken ca salad casserole, chicken pie, Huntington chicken, beef stew with dumplings, Spanish rice, marinating sauce for chicken, my favorite sloppy joes, Amish style Chinese chop suey, Favorite haystack meal, pan fried chicken, chicken and dumplings. Now my husband makes some chicken and dumplings. It says seafood, shrimp and grits, grouper marinade, quick and spicy fish fillets, clam chowder, prepared lime batter for fish instead of frying fish, <laughs> oyster stew, scalloped oysters, seafood chowder, savory fish fillets, fabulous grilled fish and shrimp dinner. Golden Catfish Fillets, Alligator Stew, 
grilled lime fish fillets, skimp, shrimp scampi, and then here's cookies and bars, Amish church cookies, church cookie frosting, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania Dutch ginger cookies and ranger cookies, homemade Debbie cookies, busy day cookies, can't leave alone bars, mule ear cookies, <laughs> Grandma's oatmeal raisin cookies. And then here are some pictures again. Here is Rebecca Fisher's sauerkraut. Yummy. The macaroni and cheese. Oh, man. Grilled lime fish fillets. Pinecraft winter salad. Chocolate whoopie pies. Key lime pie. Three layer strawberry and cream cake. Freezer fruit and yogurt pops. Final exam brownies. Coconut cream pie. Oh, that would be fun to send to Katie for finals. Sunburst lemon bars. Dark chocolate covered caramels. Oh, orange pie. Sand dollar cookies. Carrot cake and Dutch blueberry babies. Oh my goodness. No bake cookies. I love those. Final exam brownies. So let's see. Unsweetened chocolate, butter, sugar, eggs, vanilla, flour, miniature marshmallows, pecans or walnuts, and chocolate chips. I might have to make some of those for my chick. Um, Galetschein Christmas cookies. I'm not sure. Galetschein is the German word for pastry. Ginger chips, ginger snap cookies. I need a drink of my tea. Monster cookies, sand dollar sugar cookies, date balls. My mom used to make those. Outrageous chocolate chip cookies, mast cookies, powder snowballs, sunburst lemon bars, butterscotch nut bars, chewy granola bars, caramel bars, salty crispy bars, hello dolly, apple bars, pumpkin bars, pecan pie bars, mud hen bars. Make these once and you'll have a family favorite. Chocolate fudgy crinkles, grape jelly bars, coffee bars, peanut butter squares, chocolate whoopie pies, custard pie, oh yes, coconut cream pie, shoe fly pie, fudge swirl toffee pie, raisin cream pie, peanut butter pie, pumpkin pie, lemon sour cream pie, Dutch apple pie, key, key lime pie, orange pie, pecan pie, Bob Andy pie. What is a Bob Andy pie? As the story is told, an Amish farmer came in from work in the fields, took one bite of this delicious pie, and said, This pie is as good as Bob and Andy, which were his two prize gelding workhorses. <laughs> as flour, cream of tartar, cinnamon, brown sugar, butter, eggs, milk, and unbaked pie shells. Looks pretty easy. Huh. Amish vanilla crumb pie, pineapple pie, angel cream pie, pie crust, Fanny Kay's chocolate cream pie, luscious lemonade pie, and then here's some cakes and frostings with carrot cake, oatmeal cake, white chocolate fudge cake, tasty cakes, Anna's frosting, chocolate mayonnaise cake, Overholt's pineapple wedding cake, Mother's Best Angel Food Cake, Pumpkin Butter, Italian Cream Cake, Homemade Twinkies, Banana Split Snack Cake, Buttermilk Pound Cake, Three Layer Strawberries and Cream Cake, Hummingbird Cake, my mom used to love that one too, Apple Pudding Cake, Chocolate Jelly Roll, Shortcake for Fresh Strawberries, oh that sounds good, Pumpkin Cake Roll, Coconut Cake, Yellow cake from scratch. Chocolate wacky cake. Everyone loves chocolate cake. This one's a favorite. And then here's desserts. Like the other ones weren't desserts. Key lime dessert. Dessert. Orange tapioca fluff. Vanilla pudding. My favorite cheesecake. Peanut butter delight. Cooked chocolate pudding. Soda cracker pudding. Lemon heaven. Graham cracker banana fluff. Molded tropical cream. Strawberry pretzel salad. Ooh, that's what I just made for Easter. Baked apple pudding, sweetheart pudding, date pudding, upside down cinnamon pudding cake, peach delight, raspberry cheesecake, orange tra orange tapioca, grape pudding, interesting, caramel dumplings, 
fresh mocha marbled loaf, frozen mocha marbled loaf, cherry fluff, fruit pizza, fruit slush, Florida orange rice, apple crisp, creamiest rice pudding, peach cobbler, Florida pudding, homemade ice cream, and this and that, which dark chocolate covered caramels with sea salt. Oh my word, that sounds good. Chocolate orange fudge, freezer fruit and yogurt pops, apple butter, love apple butter, caramel corn, brown sugar walnut candy, strawberry jelly, easy yogurt, orange marmalade, cheese spread, zucchini relish, hand-dipped chocolate-covered coconut patties, Aunt Fanny's soft pretzels, there we go, oh boy, fresh fruit and yogurt parfaits, saltwater taffy pull, and then here is the index with all of the lovely recipes and the acknowledgments. And then here's about the author. And then there's some notes. And so I think I did a pretty good job getting one that was used but still very new. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. And all the pages seem to be there. Nothing is written in. So I'm excited about it. So someone else's trash is somebody else's treasure. So I'm excited to have it. And I think that this fuzz will like it too, won't you, fuzz? Say, mama, I don't get any of that food. You don't give me cat food. Yes, all you ever give me is cat food. <laughs> That's not entirely true. You sometimes get tuna. And you sometimes get chicken. He loves chicken. He loves chicken. Don't you, baby boy? So thanks guys for watching and thank you Christy for asking. I hope that that helps you. Um, again, here's the front of the cookbook and what it looks like. Simply Delicious Amish Cooking by Sherry Gore. And a fuzzarelli. Mm, Mama can't stop giving pieces to me because I love him. So yeah, I hope that you guys um, found this interesting and I'm excited to kind of go back to the basics, which is what I'm kind of hoping some of this will be. So I'm going to spend some time reading some of these recipes, and maybe I'll do a couple in my next meal plan. So that's it. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.